Hello and welcome to another Farina screencast. Uh, in this screencast I'm going to dive a little deeper on group by expressions and crosstab queries. Um, uh, we're going to, in a prior screencast I had uh, created a report that was a simple group by aggregate that uh, showed the number of orders shipped to the different shippers that are in the Northwind database. In this screencast we're going to um, enhance that query to uh, to show by employees as well. So in order to do that, first thing we need to do is add in the employee information. So I'm going to join on employees uh, and I'm going to join on the employee employee ID equal the order, em, order employee ID and um, then I'm going to want to include columns for the employee first name and I am going to want to add to the group by expression. Now the group by expression determines how many unique rows you're going to be. So if we want to make sure that there is an employee, there's a row for every individual employees, even if they have the same name, then we need to group by the employee's ID. Now in MySQL, this is going to work. Uh, meaning that rows will be generated for uh, for each employee and you can still reference the first name in any other database language this is not allowed and that you would any columns that you use in the select clause would also need to be in the group by clause so we're going to go ahead and add the employee first name uh, to this uh, query as well just to make it database compliant and then we're also going to want to change the order by of this so that it orders by employee and then ship, ship shipping company name so this will be employee will this order by first name and then um, and then company name so having done that I'm going to go ahead and select that. And so now we see that there's three rows for Andrew, one saying he shipped 25 orders to Federal Shipping, 35 orders to Speedy Express, and then 36 orders to United Package. So let's go ahead and create that and uh, make a new data block based on that. making sure to specify the sales database the um, this will be the employee shippering summary block we'll paste in that text and test the changes and go ahead and save that block and now I've made a new data block I'm just gonna add that to the existing report so um, I'll edit the report adding to the bottom some new data finding the employee shipping summary and choosing that block. So now we really don't want to display three lines for Andrew. We'd really have, like to have one line for Andrew with separate columns for the company name. But in order to do that, we need to pivot or make a cross tab table. So you can do that from the table query just by uh, selecting uh, the, the cross tab uh, table. And then you can specify which table, it, which column it's going to use to pivot. In other words, which column is going to make up the columns of the, the extra columns of the report. And in this case, we'll choose the cross tab column. And you'll notice it instantly made a table that has those three, one column for each shipper that's in the database. So in this case, the number of columns in the table is actually dynamic based on what data is selected. I can also do that with the new uh, SVG graphing engine so that I can say, okay, let's look at uh, a label cross tab. It's important when we're doing this, we choose uh, a series type that, um, that will handle uh, multiple series because it's going to make a separate, uh, a separate series in the graph for each, uh, for each uh, cross tab uh, query. So here we look and we can see that um, that it's broken down uh, each employee's shipping across the, 
the the different uh, chippers. Uh, another neat little trick I'll just demo real quick is I can also add a uh, company name. Uh, whoops, uh, excuse me, in the in the tooltip I can add a uh, company name and the total to that and it should demonstrate uh, the ability to have those uh, labeled as you hover over them. I'll go ahead and add that to the report. And then, of course, hit save. So for those of you who are working with FRX files directly, um, I wanted to go over the source that accomplishes this, uh, these two crosstab uh, constructs uh, in the FRX format. So if you're looking at the SVG tag, You'll notice that um, here that we have an FRX group equal attribute for first name to make sure that there is uh, one, one row generated for each salesperson. And then the dimension being the company name makes sure that there's a series generated for each shipping company that's in the graph. Fin then the uh, the key equals first name indicates what the primary graph labels are and the series one being the total is going to be what we're going to be graphing and then uh, finally the the so when it sees that dimension tab it's going to create a separate series for each uh, company name in the graph making sh uh, making making sure to group by first name before it does that um, when you look down then at the cross tab renderer that's generated in this uh, context uh, you'll see a similar thing the group name and the dimension and you'll notice that the table structure has a little bit of an odd syntax here where the head is the first name uh, and then there's a detail saying that that's the total column and then we have a head of being the first name and the TD is which uh, is the part that is going to be actually um, dynamic in the sense that this column that's the TD column uh, will be generated for each for each value of the dimension specified in the dimension attribute here making sure that one row is generated for the group for the grouping of first name hopefully that makes a little bit of sense you can begin to experiment with these new group and dimension attributes to try and g manually generate both frx cross tab data but also to uh, to generate cr uh, cross tabulations for as different series uh, in in a, in a graph here. Uh, if there are any questions, feel free to file them on the issue queue. Hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Farina.